Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining my channel Cloud and Coffee with Navneet. In this video, we are going to learn about how you can able to connect Amazon Athena using the quick site. Uh, in order for you to connect with Amazon Athena uh, with the quick site, the first thing you need to do is you have to ensure Amazon quick site able to access or have an access to Amazon Athena and Amazon S3 uh, bucket because Amazon Athena uses Amazon S3 to restore the data, right? So in order for for you to do that to validate if your if your Amazon Quick Site has an access to Amazon Athena and uh, an Amazon S3, you have to go to the Manage Quick Site. You will be going into the Security and Permissions, and then you will be going here in the Manage. When you will be going and clicking on the Manage, it able to bring all the services which it has an access. So here, if you see, I already have an access to Amazon Athena as well as I'm having access to Amazon S3. When you click on S3 bucket, it will tell you like what all buckets you're looking to have an access. Uh, it will be you will be selecting all the bucket or the bucket which you need to be have an access on, or where the data being stored, which is being used by Amazon Athena, or in case if you have access uh, data sitting in outside of Amazon S3, you're looking to uh, provide that S3 bucket name here. I have provided, uh, in my case, I will be looking to access the data sitting in, in a public uh, public bucket, uh, which is a blog post, uh, right? So I will be using this public bucket here. So you will be providing this bucket name and then you will be kind of adding the, that bucket as in as in, uh, in in this list i have already accessed that bucket uh, bucket list right so fair enough hopefully you got an idea you've done with the prerequisite now let's go and work on on creating the connection so i have done saved everything's looking fine now in order for me to go and uh, and uh, create a connection so i will be going and creating connections so i will be going into the data set and i will be clicking on uh, Athena sorry uh, creating a new new data set and here i will be going and selecting uh, the list of data sources i will be selecting athena when i will be selecting athena i will be going this uh, demo and uh, i will be providing the name name right, demo tbc ds because i'm having i'm i'm using the data source and i will be selecting the primary work group here and i will be going and creating connections when i'm creating connections i have a two options here i will be going and selecting the uh, data source uh, so i will be going and selecting the data source here is uh, tpcds with the stats this is my table and then i have an options to to select what all uh, you know what all tables i can able to select so if you're only looking to work with one uh, table you can able to uh, select any of this uh, any of these columns and uh, let's say if i'm selecting this one you will be able to go and uh, preview this data here so it will be kind of you know able to connect uh, and start showcasing you uh, so this is your uh, this is your uh, right for this for this data set but what if i need to do it uh, you know and uh, i can able to go and uh, save and publish so what is happening here is when i will be doing save and publish it will be uh, right able available for me to perform uh, you know perform uh, to build the visualizations however it has a two mode of of bringing the data one is you can able to use direct query as well as you able to use spice i don't have any space left for the spice i can able to add it later but the idea is when when it's spice uh, it will be available for for you to do an in-memory query which is being like you know this is this way you will be not making a direct query however i wanted to showcase you uh, how you can uh, build a connection or you how you can use the custom query to bring the data here i will be just bringing one date one table or right so let me showcase you uh, how you can able to uh, if you have to do a direct query with a multiple table uh, table joining how that can be done as well right so here again we will be going into the into the data set um, and i will be creating a new data set i will be calling at uh, direct query and uh, mm, join so let's see as we're performing join demo right okay i will be going and creating these connections uh, i will be able to showcase um, i will be looking to use this tpcds um, with the stats all right and i will be going and creating on custom sql and let's see i will be going and write here custom sql so let me say join demo i will be calling it uh, i will be going and uh, copy this on uh, this query here 
so I have this query. Let me make so this is TPCDS query where I will be joining up four different tables. So I will be going, let me bring the data from all the data sources, and I will be able to provide the um, here, right? So this is the query. Let me remove this part. So this way I will be able to bring all the data. Here I will be selecting this with the sets. So and then if you see if it's all the columns are available, uh, all the tables are available within it. So let me see uh, another thing which I need to do is I have to provide let me see if uh, let me uh, let me apply this and then see how this is being working. So this way uh, you're able to get an idea what all things. So if you see here I got an error. It's showing blah blah blah. Uh, this is not available. So what is doing it's using default uh, as in database. So that's what I need to make a change here. Uh, so I, I the database name I'm having is TPC uh, DS DS DB with stats right that's what the database name I'm having TPC DS with uh, DB with stats and then I will be going and replacing all of this with a TPC DS data set and right and here uh, apply let's see how this will be working and hopefully i'm able to see the data here and also i will showcase you what if if you're able to remove uh remove uh that s3 access so see here now i'm able to see the data so next thing is i can just simply go and uh, publish and visualize so if i go and publish and visualize it will take me to here and then i will be i call uh, got all these connections and then i will be having all the data i can start building my visualization so Hopefully you got an idea now how you can able to connect to your Athena, you, how you can able to do the custom SQL as well as how you can able to work with this one one table, All right? So when, uh, other things as, as, as I was telling you earlier, the prerequisite part is super critical. So you will be going and uh, and when you will be start working on, on this data set, uh, you will be looking to see how you able to go and uh, and add those uh, add those um, s3 as well as athena in in that prerequisite section uh if you like this video feel free to uh you know like subscribe and share with your friends thank you very much